In this video, we will explain how the Magnus effect works. The Magnus effect will cause spinning projectiles to deviate from their typical path. This can be observed in spinning missile projectiles, as well as sports such as baseball, football, golf, and even paintball. In this video, we will show how one paintball barrel will use the Magnus effect to cause a paintball to travel farther. The Magnus effect is a result of Bernoulli's principle. As a projectile spins, it drags the fluid around it. The fluid velocity on the top side of the projectile increases while the pressure decreases. The fluid on the bottom side of the ball does exactly the opposite. We created CFD models to illustrate this effect. Here are scalar scenes of pressure around two projectiles moving right to left. The red regions show areas of high pressure, while blue indicates areas of lower pressure. Notice that the highest pressure occurs at the front side of the ball, as we would expect. The image on the left shows a non-rotating ball. The pressures along the top and bottom are symmetrical about the center line. The image on the right shows a ball with a backspin, meaning it is rotating clockwise in this frame of reference. Although the difference is subtle, there is a slightly lower pressure on top of the ball than on the bottom. This pressure difference results in an upward force acting on the ball, known as lift. Plots were also created to show the pressure distribution along the surface of the ball. The X location at every point along the surface is plotted on the X axis. The pressure at each point is plotted on the Y axis. Note that because this is a 2D simulation, there will be two points for every X location. For the non-rotating ball, both points at every X location have equal pressures. The highest pressure occurs at the front of the ball, and the lowest pressures occur at the top and bottom. These pressures cancel each other out, resulting in zero lift. For the rotating ball, the pressures along the top and bottom differ. The upper line corresponds to the lower surface, and the lower line corresponds to the upper surface. The drag and lift are found by finding the integral of the pressure along the entire surface of the ball. In this scenario, the force acting in the y direction on the bottom surface exceeds that of the top surface by about 8 newtons. The Magnus effect is utilized in paintball markers. Notice that with a standard barrel, the path of the paintball follows a parabolic path due to the force of gravity. When a flatline barrel is used, the path of the paintball is much straighter, allowing the paintball to travel greater distances.